Okay, boys, the new Vine Donk has dropped today. There is going to be a lot of changes coming in the next month, all the way up until May. We're getting essentially two exotic quests, a new game mode called Gambit Prime, which is like competitive Gambit, a horde mode called The Reckoning, some other mysterious thing called Invitations of the Nine. We're also getting Gambit Private matches, as well as new pinnacle weapons. Now, before we get into this, guys, I highly advise watching this Vidoc if you have not. If you have, though, feel free to skip forward to the summary at the time listed above. The Drifter has this mysterious cargo that he's been dragging behind his ship for who knows how long. The ball. The ball. The ball. There's, yeah, that big chunk of ice. Where did it come from? In the season of The Drifter, we get to finally go to his ship. When you go into this thing, it's not what you expect. Drifter has got some of the coolest lore in the game, and this entire release is focused on Drifter. Gambit is a chance at salvation. Take it. So in season six, we've got something for everybody, whether you're a D2 owner, a Forsaken owner, or an annual pass owner. We've got new gear to chase, new weapons to chase. We've got exotic quests. We've got clan rings. We've got lore. Every week, there's something different for you to do. Players want to play with their friends right now. They don't want to play 10 hours of something else just to be able to go play Season of the Drifter. So we came up with our Surge Bounties to get you up to 640 power within the first hour to two of your gameplay experience. <coughs> Enough fooling around. Day one, you're going to log in and you're going to talk to the Drifter. He's going to inform you that the most important thing you do is go play Gambit Prime. So you're going to want to play Prime and then go play Reckoning, and then take and then your rewards back. from Reckoning back to Prime. Yeah, it's this great yeah. little loop. Dredging. No, not anymore. It's Drifter now. In season of the Drifter, there's some super deep lore with Drifter and the Nine. They're working with him for some reason. When you're helping him, it may or may not be the right thing to do, but you just don't know. I know you all keep tabs on me. Drifter has finally moved shop. He's running a new scam now. He's got a new thing that he calls Gambit Prime. Gambit Prime is the sweatier version. Risks are higher, the reward is higher. If Gambit was training for a heist, Gambit Prime is the heist. On day one, it's gonna feel a little closer to that Gambit you've been playing originally. And then all of a sudden, the mode is actually going to transform over time as players unlock perks. And it's just one round, so it's really focused into this one short, intense experience. A couple things have changed. A few very important elements that can swing matches, too. First of all, players can actually drain moats from an enemy team. Additionally, there's new mechanics during the primeval phase that ask people to work as a group, almost like a raid, in order to actually DPS the boss and win. We got feedback from players. They wanted to play Gambit private matches, like they can do in the Crucible. Just get into a fire team. Go in solo if you want to and like check it out. Run around the maps. Create tournaments. In the original Gambit, we had these four soft roles. The goal was with Gambit Prime, we wanted to really emphasize these roles. And what can we do to, to make people feel like they are picking and playing a specific role? So we built brand new armor sets that allow you to basically lean into the roles that we built for the activity. Pulling the Reaper, a person who kills as many combatants as possible. The Collector, the person who collects as many moats as possible to send blockers. The Sentry, the person who's focused on defeating the Taken and helps you kill the Primeval. And then, of course, the classic invader, who's going to wreak havoc on the other team as many times as possible. We don't actually know how people are going to play different roles, but it's going to be interesting to see how they concoct their teams and go in and play. Yeah. We actually have two new maps coming in the release. Mm -hmm. The Mars map is first week. Yeah. Titan is yep. the second week. 
There's a new weapons feat for Gambit Prime, the Spare Rations Hand Cannon, the Soul Survivor Sniper Rifle, the Doomsday Grenade Launcher. We're really excited about these weapons because not only do they play really, really well, but they look amazing. They look like they were designed by this space biker rebel guy. <laughs> Who's seen some serious shit? It's a big improvement over Black Armory. Annual pass owners, day one, you will have full access to being able to play. As soon as you finish your first Gambit Prime match, Reckoning is going to open up. You're teleported into the Plains of the Nine, which is this huge, like, vast space. The Reckoning is a pinnacle PvE experience inside the Drifter's Ball, and it's pretty intense. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, it's not easy. It is not yeah. easy. Yeah. When you first get dropped into Reckoning, it's complete chaos. You don't know what's going on. You're going to have to move fast. You're going to have to kill fast. High octane, <laughs> yeah. back against the wall, enemies spawning. You're getting attacked from all directions. Think the Crota Raid from D1. <laughs> yeah. At first, you're only going to have access to Tier 1, and then Tier 2 and Tier 3 will slowly unlock. It gets more and more chaotic. And there's a timer counting can, down the whole timer time. Timer counting down. So every week, as you play through Reckoning, you're going to come out with more and more pieces of armor for Gambit Prime. Every piece of armor has the Drifter's snake decal on all pieces and the color of that decal corresponds to the role that you're playing. So if you're an invader set, you've got these glowing, like, red snakes covering your entire armor set. So yeah. when you see someone come over, you're going to know. Or if you see someone Imagine in the ready, the ready room, room. If everyone is glowing and everyone has an aura, you should be expecting those top tier perks. You're going to look across or look at yeah. your team and go, oh Four my invaders. God. Yeah, uh... that's crazy. Like, you don't know what's going to happen. We're really excited for all the content we've got coming out, not just annual pass content. The new Crucible pinnacle weapon, the yep. new Vanguard pinnacle yep. weapon, the new spring event yep. coming, which the we've Revelry. never had before, the Revelry. Yeah. Week so. two, you're going to start your journey to Thorn. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> wait to complain about people with Thorn yeah. as I'm holding Thorn. <laughs> yeah. Season of the Drifter is really the first time we're coming out really understanding how we want to structure a season of content. Leaning into Shape Destiny more in line with what our core community wants. We're starting to figure out what the roadmap for a Bungie-controlled Destiny looks like. This is one of the most exciting times. We're beginning to form up the muscles to make Destiny a quick reacting live game. And I can only see it getting better from here. This is just the beginning of a conversation that we're going to have with you about where Destiny can go. Right now, the team's upstairs testing Season of Opulence. We're already building plans for how to make the thing comes out. After that, even better. There's we're... a thing that comes out after that? Well, oh, <laughs> what's <that? laughs> Until then, go check out Gambit Prime. All right, boys, so I'm assuming you saw the Vidoc. Let's go over exactly what was said in it. First up, let's talk about weapons. Ladies and gentlemen, these are your new pinnacle weapons coming this season. We have the Recluse, which is the Crucible pinnacle weapon. It's an SMG. It states that kills with any weapon improve this weapon's damage for a short time. Now, I would like to point out that it says kills with any weapon. How much it actually boosts that damage, I'm not sure, guys. I will say for the longest time, though, we've been asking for a good SMG in the game to compete, especially against close-range weapons like shotguns. And considering that shotguns are all about to get a nerf inside of Crucible, 
this SMG could be pretty nasty. I can't believe I didn't see it, boys. It's so obvious that it was gonna be an SMG. Moving on to Oxygen SR3. This is the Vanguard Scout Rifle. It states that Dragonfly deals more damage based on the number of precision hits made beforehand. We saw some gameplay, guys. Looks pretty nasty. It's got this Kakaitis slash Hong Jury look to it. I think one thing I'm really interested to see is how the Dragonfly spec would combine here with this Scout Rifle. How big can we get these explosions? Could be pretty nasty. Moving on to the 21% Delirium. This is an LMG. It is the Gamut Pinnacle Weapon. It states that kills increase this weapon's damage until it is stowed or reloaded. Now, considering there's so many different ways to bypass that, whether that's a Rally Barricade, Transversive Steps, there's so many different means of getting a reload in without actually having to reload. This could 100% be the deadliest power weapon inside of Crucible. Of course, it all depends on how much of a buff it actually gets. I'm a Assuming though, it's not a timed buff. Like I'm assuming it's gonna be a flat buff that's applied to your weapon and it just kind of stays on your weapon until you either have to reload or stowed. Kind of something similar to Memento Mori. So guys, those are your pinnacle weapons. Now moving on to some other things. Yes, Gambit Prime is essentially gonna be like competitive Gambit. What's interesting is that there's actually gonna be some changes to Gambit Prime in comparison to Gambit. There's only gonna be one round, which is actually pretty interesting. I mean, the moment you come in, in. It's balls to the wall. The second thing that they're doing here is that they're now going to allow you to be able to steal directly from your enemy's banked moats and you can actually drain them. So instead of us like just going and hiding whenever an invader comes, sounds like you're going to actually have to engage them. Gamut bosses are also going to have some mechanics involved similar to raid bosses. So instead of us just going into a melt fest with our gamut bosses, I'm sure each one is going to have some different mechanics involved with them. Now they go on to say that new maps will be unlocked each week. We're essentially going to get two other maps outside of the one map that they showcase. One of them will be called New Arcadia, which is a Mars map. Deep Six, which is a Titan map. One thing I kind of looked for was, is there anywhere you could fall off the map? Looks like everywhere looks pretty solid, right? That's my biggest problem, man, is falling off of Gambit maps. Now, they go on to mention that there's going to be some Gambit weapons. We're going to get a hand cannon called Spare Rations, sniper rifle called Soul Survivor, a grenade launcher called Doomsday. They didn't mention the names of the auto rifle and shotgun, which I found to be kind of interesting, especially considering that the auto rifle Looks like Kvostov. I don't know. I I'm kind of running low on sleep. Maybe that's not Kvostov. I'm just saying it kind of looks like it. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Now, moving on, Gambit will now have armor sets, each one representing a different role that you play inside of Gambit. You've got the Reaper, which is like the person who just slays out the most enemies inside of Gambit. Collector, which collects the moats. Sentry, which kills the most taken as well as prime evils and the invader which kills the most enemies on the opposing team. Honestly guys, I don't think I'm gonna choose these based on my role. I'm probably just gonna go with whichever looks the prettiest with my armor, you know what I mean? They all look pretty good though because they all got a wicked look to them. Now in order to obtain these pieces of armor for Gambit Prime, you actually have to go into a horde mode called the Reckoning. This is where things get really crazy. This is actually inside of the Drifter's Ball, if I heard them correctly, but it's like themed after the Nine, which was really strange because we we saw the emissary of the nine carrying on a conversation with the drifter which really kind of blew my mind boys i don't know what's going on here regardless though there will be some sort of survival horde mode and there'll be three tiers of it each one escalating the difficulty and from what they said there will be a timer whenever you enter and i guess you just have to survive which sounds pretty dope also makes me wonder how many ads are going to be thrown at you might just go like war to dawn everybody rocking bubbles you know what i mean but in order to obtain gambit prime armor guys you essentially have to do reckoning each week and i think you just go right back into gambit prime which somehow loops around and unlocks the gambit armor now moving on yes thorn is making a return the quest will start in week two of this season it looks very similar to what it looked like back in d1 i'm assuming it's going to be a 150 round per minute hand cannon that's my assumption we'll see exactly what plays out with thorn now they go on to mention something else and i must have misheard it but it sounded like they mentioned a raid they said something like rebel raid after the new spring event i could have misheard it boys i'm just letting you know that that's what it sounded like i even cut captions on but captions couldn't even get it right because there's like two of them talking at the same time actually when we look at the new roadmap a new raid is not even shown until june so they may have actually let that slip because first they said 
we have a new spring event coming, which I'm going to assume is the Revelry. That kind of has a spring look to it. I think that's going to be the spring event, but they did let it slip that the new raid is going to be called the Rebel Raid. I don't know. You let me know what you heard. That's what I heard. I heard Rebel Raid. Now, last but definitely not least, Luke Smith showed himself. Guys, I haven't seen Luke in forever. And Luke just straight up told us that there is a season called Season of Opulence. Now, I'm not sure if Opulence is from like June to August or if that's like the season of Redacted because that's what we were originally calling it. I'm, I'm confused, hella confused guys, I'm, I'm not sure. All I know is, is we're going back to Leviathan. I'm already seeing tweets go out left and right saying that we're actually gonna meet Callus in Season of Opulence. So I'm thinking a poker table, we've got Drifter over there with us and Callus somehow squeezed under that thing. Should be a good time. Fellas, I'm hyped, man. I'm looking forward to this. I think this is gonna be a really good season. It's got a lot of good stuff. I'm a huge fan of Gambit, I really am. And with the different changes that they're making in terms of linear fusion rifles, some different mechanical changes to bosses, as well as how we can interact in the game itself, I think Gambit Prime could be a really good game mode. All of this will be launching next week, guys, on Tuesday, March the 5th. Now, I am doing an annual pass giveaway. We're giving away five annual passes for anyone that does not have a annual pass right now. And if you're way behind, if you're underleveled, don't worry about it. Bundy has already confirmed that there's going to be bounties that you can pick up which will immediately throw your power level up to 640, which is fantastic. I actually have to level up an account on PC, and this is gonna make leveling for myself much easier. But if you are interested in getting an annual pass or you got a friend that's kinda on the edge there on the fence, the giveaway link is in the description below, guys. Feel free to check it out. I'll be pulling that drawing on Monday, so the day before the new season starts. Well, fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching, and as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. Thank you.